is fasting okay for kidney failure? I wouldn't use fasting for the kidneys as a, as a go-to. If your kidneys are failing, you need to first cleanse and open up the elimination avenues for the body before you start to dry fast or water fast. Fasting is very powerful. However, fasting will dislodge a lot of uh, toxins. And if you don't have proper elimination ability, the, the toxins will recirculate. And you will have what I call a healing crisis in suspension. I've seen this for some people. They will go on a dry fast. Um, they don't do it properly and they'll get um, a detox symptom that doesn't seem to go away so it gets worse and it stays the worst because they didn't finish the cleanse they didn't do things properly so before you jump on a dry fast be careful because it's a fad these days everybody thinks they know about dry fasting and intermittent fasting but whilst it's good for you um, if you don't do it correctly it can be a problem so be wise and go on a fruit cleanse for a, a bit of time before you jump onto any fasting. You will get better results and you will not have a healing crisis in suspension. And do not fast longer than, for most people, 24 to 48 hours is a max. You do not need to go more than that because the body is too chronically compromised for majority of the population is too um, our bodies are too polluted for you to go on a very long fast if you go on a very long fast you can have a healing crisis in suspension and you don't want that okay the healing crisis in suspension is something that i i came up with because i've seen some clients i told you before they go on a dry fa especially fasting never with the fruits but always the fasting they go on a on a uh, a dry fast and they're not prepared for it they don't clean the liver they didn't clean the bowels and they get stuck in the middle okay and they have they have problems